item on my agenda is the 2021 election. So I mentioned earlier that uh, we really need to uh, vote to uh, codify the new boards because tomorrow is March 2nd, 2021, which means that as of tomorrow, there will be exactly eight months until the next town election in which three of the five seats on this council will be on the ballot. So the three um, seats that will come up for re-election would be the Ward 1 Council Representative, which is currently David Foster, the Ward 3 Council Member seat currently occupied by Reverend Tolliver, as well as the seat of the Mayor of Chestertown, which is occupied by me. So I can't speak for Ward 1 and Ward 3, but that's relatively short timetable does beg the question of will these three members be running for re-election so tonight i want to state publicly for the record that i will not be seeking a third term of office as the mayor of chestertown um i know for people that know me well that are kind of in my inner circle or my work circle this isn't going to come as a surprise but i think potentially for people that kind of tangentially follow the mayor and council this may be somewhat surprising uh, but just there's a really wide array of personal and professional reasons why it's not really a want to step down kind of thing as it is a need to step down kind of thing. <clears throat> Excuse me for me. Um, I just there's just no scenario where I would be willing or able really to do this for another four years. So I thought it was important to announce this tonight. Eight months seems like kind of a long time, but it's going to sneak up on us really quickly. And I wanted to give everybody plenty of time to know my position, um, and especially for those that are considering running, that uh, they'll have plenty of time to consider their candidacy, uh, come up with platforms, raise money, and hopefully we'll have a few really good candidates running professional style campaigns. Um, just with some remarks on this, I also, I'm a big believer in term limits. I told everybody when I got talked into running in 2013, I wasn't gonna be a 20 year person. I never considered myself really to be a politician. I never considered pol politics to be a career choice. Um, and I think eight years is a lot of time to get a lot of things done. And I think we've done most of what I set out to do. Um, but I also think it's really honestly good for the town to get new people with new energy and new ideas, new set of eyes on the budget in place um, and when you have politicians that just continually run for office for 20, 30 years, like we see in DC, you end up with people that basically are in it for themselves. And you end up with a lot of people fighting to preserve the status quo. And that brings me to 2021. We still have a lot on our plate for this coming year. Things that I see coming down the tunnel, like a freight train are, you know, COVID-19 is going to be an ongoing issue that we're going to deal with for the rest of this year. Um, I think our budget talks could be interesting. I, I would love to finally get some money allocated for paving streets. I know many of our residents are starting to notice that we haven't done that in a while, and that's completely legitimate feedback. Um, I can tell you all that the hospital is going to be proposing a model for how they envision their setup as a rural health care facility in about a month and then they're going to be having town hall meetings around the county one of which is going to be hosted by us and i think that's going to be very interesting um i know that later this spring probably early summer the the oil spill is going to rear its ugly head again we'll probably have more discussions with mde in the hospital about a potential um uh trial shutdown of the pump and treat system to see if the spill moves uh, we are going to be wanting to implement Chestertown Unites Against Racism, those initiatives that are outlined in that framework for the rest of this calendar year. And that work will probably continue well after I leave office. Um, we plan to build out the rail trail this year. As I said, Ajax Park, I know the Rec Commission was really gung-ho to renovate that even further. I know the neighbors expressed some concerns. At some point, we're going to need to meet with them, I think at our next meeting, actually, hopefully find some middle ground and maybe make some additional improvements to Ajax. I would love to get Wilmer Park done this year. The waterfront walk I've already discussed. And I think we also have staffing issues. Uh, you guys probably received Kay's letter that she's retiring in mid-June. So we're gonna have budgeting decisions to make about how we go about contributing to Main Street Chestertown. Uh, 
what we do about dividing the main street role of that director, which is a separate nonprofit from the arts and entertainment district because Kay has been basically doing both jobs and there's been some pluses, but also a lot of minuses to that. So maybe dividing those and providing chunks of change to each program. Those are discussions that we're gonna to need to have and we just talked about the CPD. So I want everybody to understand that there's always gonna be issues like this that are like, why could you possibly step down now? You, you know, issue A, B and C are going on. You can't possibly leave office. I just can't do this for another four years. And so regardless of where those issues lie, my last day is gonna be December 31st, 2021. So I wanna thank all of you guys for serving and dedicating your time to the town. I wanna to thank everybody that believed in me and um, supported my candidacy. Um, and I do have 10 more months to do this, so it's not over, but um, on November 2nd, hopefully we'll have some good candidates running to fill this chair. And that's all I have.